welcome to the realm of unpopular opinions today i will be not teaching you more so letting you know how i deal with slumps and i've had quite a few in my life the longest was like two two and a half years i'm pretty sure everyone who's been a reader since birth has had a chunk of time where they've just been like no i've lost it no more books if i see a book i will throw up but most of us do get it back so this is how i deal with slumps i am a mood reader and very much so a seasonal reader because throughout summer and may yeah may through august i am not productive in the slightest i have no will to live i live in the mediterranean i cannot handle the sun and the heat so if i read more than one book I am overjoyed. So I'm very much a seasonal reader. I'm just now leaving a slump as we enter into autumn. So these are my tips for how to handle slumps. Tip number one, change formats. And this is crucial, absolutely crucial, because I was the person who never read comics, never read graphic novels, never read manga, just read books. It gets extremely tiring. Probably not for everyone. Obviously, this isn't fact-checked advice. This is just my opinion. But if you're the type of person that's realizing they're getting really tired of what they're reading and it's just like, Jesus Christ, these chapters are endless. It's just more and more words. I cannot. I am tired, which I've been there. Change formats. I guarantee you, no one's the type of person, and I used to be that, that person, so which is why I am disproving it. There is no genre, I think, that is not for anyone. I'm pretty sure you can always find something that suits you. So manga, graphic novel, comic, Marvel, anything that will get you out of that feeling where reading is a pain, a chore, it makes your brain hurt just change formats, a web comic, a webtoon, whatever the other, Wattpad even, anything that changes the format. I think since I started reading comics, graphic novels, and manga, I have been reading constantly. There are a lot of people who will say that that's not exactly reading because there's a lot of pictures, there's not as much reading done, but I severely disagree because a lot of those are very long series and very, very thick volumes. So it's a lot of reading, you will be occupied for a while, and you will not feel like you just cannot get to through that one book that's a thousand pages long and you're just not in the mood, and then you end up not reading at all because changing formats is a godsend for slumps. And that is why technically, even though I've not like read an entire book in a while, I've read a lot because I love reading, and if I read a couple chapters of a book, I will even that out with manga or graphic novels and it is wonderful because you will not be losing reading and technically by doing this this is why it's number one you will never be in a slump number two is something that i refused to follow up until last year to be fair i read exclusively fantasy urban high exclusively fantasy but then i started reading thrillers, I started reading, again, different formats, I started reading some sci-fi, classics, not really romance, but that can happen too. Changing genres is similar to changing formats, but I think it's for a very specific type of slump. If you feel like you've read the same fantasy over and over again, which used to happen to me back when I read YA, it's a bit harder to feel that way, I think, with adult fantasy because it's very they're usually very long and very specific. They're not generic because obviously it's not that YA doesn't have a lot of work put into it, but you know what I mean. It's just the reason that it's simpler to read is because it was simpler to write than high fantasy. That's just how it is. So if you feel like you've been reading the same thing over and over again, change genres. Again, I hated the concept of thrillers. I think that <laughs> feeling that thrillers hope to evoke can only be achieved by TV shows or movies. I never believed a thriller book could actually be chilling. Then I read <laughs> The Killing Place. That was absolutely the thing that convinced me it's possible. I've not had an experience like that since, but I still believe it's possible now. Jane Eyre, absolutely. Jane Eyre and Stevenson. 
made me believe that classics outside of school are actually such a pleasure to read. So many things Dune in sci-fi, for example, so many things in other genres will hit you just right. And even though you might think it's not for you, I really wouldn't write it off because changing up the genres is, even if all you read is fantasy, like one sci-fi per month could definitely make you want to read more because it works wonders just like the last tip. So basically the point is, even if you are the person who is absolutely okay with always reading the same thing, try every now and then to read something you would normally. Tip number three, use it as a distraction. Now, these last two tips are, the first two were like actual really good tip, tips. These two are for desperate people. If you're like struggling with work or school or university or whatever, these are for you because they work but they are a bit harsh in your hard in yourself, very harsh for the psyche, I have to say. One is to literally use it as a distraction. If you're doing something you hate, which for me would be studying, use it as a distraction. Instead of playing a show, make yourself read at least a chapter and you will begin to think of it as a distraction. This might not be ideal for books that you really love, but maybe for books that you are more neutral towards or at least like them because you will get it done very quickly <laughs> because if you work on something that you hate and then know you get to read some of it it can be a very good reward i think i read more in june which was exam month than in july when i had nothing to do because i was like no i do not want to look at screens i've been studying all day i cannot look at screens my eyeballs will fall out of my skull and then I would read as a distraction again. Not ideal for books that you love because you will feel like you love them less. Also, if you have a long commute, which I do, my campus is like at most an hour and a half, the least like 50 minutes away from me. I read several books just on commutes. It's a really good distraction and it might actually get you off a screen. So that's always a plus, but this is definitely not great advice for rereads and for things that you think you will love because you might hate it a little bit because you associate it with the thing you're distracting yourself from. Advice for which I used to not do. Do not be afraid to DNF and read a lot of things at once. This sort of goes hand in hand with the genre and format thing, but if you're reading five books at once, if you are able to read five books at once, I know some people don't have the attention span, do it. If you have a couple ebooks, an audiobook, and physical books, do it. Because I used to forbid myself from picking up a book until I finished one, but then if I wasn't in the mood in for that one for like weeks or months, then I just wouldn't read at all. DNF, put it back on the shelf for a later date, pick up anything you feel like reading. Just don't be afraid to actually put it down. I feel like this is something that readers hate doing, both DNFing and delaying reading and reading many things at once. But since I've allowed myself to read many things at once, I've been so happy because I didn't feel pressured. If you have one book that's like designated on your nightstand and then when you look at it and you don't feel that joy and then you just don't read because you don't wanna pick up something else, you're just not gonna read and you're gonna be miserable anyway because reading is a joy. That is why we are here and you want to do it. So don't force yourself with that one book that can ruin enjoyment, pick up something else. I feel like since I started doing that, <laughs> I read at least three to five books at the same time. Some of them are rereads, so it takes me longer. Some of them are for videos, so it takes me longer. Others, I read like a couple chapters a day. I'm so much happier while I'm doing this. Obviously not the greatest thing if you're reading five new books at once because A, that means that they're not interesting enough to actually force you to read more and finish them. And B, I'm not sure if you're a fantasy reader or sci-fi or anything complicated, I'm not sure what kind of attention span you would have to have to be able to do that. So I would combine if you're reading more books at once either formats, genres, or rereads and new books, but really do not avoid DNFing and putting books aside because it will do wonders for you, seriously wonders. I don't think I've ever 
not read a single thing since I started doing this. That is it for this very weird and very oddly educational video. I didn't intend it to be a ramble that much. I wanted it to actually be advice, but also I don't like giving advice because I don't want to be a smart ass. So this is just stuff that's helped me. It could be very obvious. It could be something that you just needed the push to do. It could be something that you haven't even considered doing. But let me know how you handle slumps because I'm always open to more opinions. But with these tips, through thick and thin, I will say that I've not been in a slump, genuine slump, where I read nothing for like a long time, genuinely a long time. I always read at least something. And I'm very happy with that because it's my favorite thing to do <laughs> apart from writing. So I hope it helps you or if not, it was at least entertaining. So <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.